Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about moderation effect using process macro in Smart PLS 4. Professor Hayes has given many models. Now let us study those models. This is model number one, where the dependent variable y is affected by the independent variable x, and the relationship is moderated by m. This is model one. Here, we will have to estimate the effect of x on y, effect of moderating variable m on y, and we will also have to estimate their combined effects, x into m on y. So, this is another model. So, there are many relationships which have been depicted by Professor Hayes. Now, we will see the first model today. This is the first model. So, how we can do this in Smart PLS? Let's see. According to Professor Hayes, moderation effect should be tested at mean plus one standard deviation and minus one standard deviation. This effect is known as a conditional effect. It may happen that effect is significant at mean, but not significant on standard deviation. In that scenario, we cannot say that the moderation effect is present. Let's see in Smart PLS. First of all, I'll have to say new project. I'll give the name process. Create. I have to click on the import the data file. I'll bring the file empty cars. Click on open. Import. It will generate all the basic descriptive statistics which are necessary. I'll press on back. Now I'll click on create the model. Make sure that this time you choose process and you will give the name here as moderation save i want to see the effect of weight on mileage so these are their original uh, so this is our these are their original scores or a raw data mpg i'll standardize them now i'll simply drag this enter i'll change the slide side so this is weight I want to see the effect of weight on the mileage of the vehicle. Enter. I'll connect it. So this is the direct effect which I want to capture. Now I want to see that this relationship, is it getting moderated by the presence of horsepower or not? So again, I'll drop horsepower into the canvas. I'll connect it. So you can see the relationship which is present here. It's the same relationship according to the model one. So this is a conceptual uh, diagram which has been converted into the statistical diagram. Okay. Now I'll go and calculate bootstrapping. Start the calculations. Open the report. Path coefficients. You can see here that the effect of horsepower on mileage, effect of weight on mileage, their combined effect on mileage. The p-values of all of them are less than 5% level of significance or in other words, they are less than 0 0.05. It means that they are significant, quite good. Now, I'll click on confidence intervals bias corrected. It is necessary that this confidence interval should not have zero in between. How? Let's understand. Here, the numbers are from negative to negative. And we don't have zero in between these two numbers because they are negative to, to negative. Here also it is negative to negative, so zero is not present. Positive to positive, zero is not present. So when zero is not present in this two confidence interval, we can see say that this part coefficients are significant. Now I'll click on conditional direct effects. Here we have captured the effect of Z weight on Z my, uh, mileage, that is the standard score of weight on standard score of mileage at the mean of horsepower at one standard deviation of the horse, horsepower and minus one standard deviation. Now, let us read the words of Professor Hayes again. According to Professor Hayes, moderation effects should be tested at mean plus one standard deviation, minus one standard deviation, 
and it is necessary that this effect should be significant at at both this standard deviation let us see is it significant yes the p values are less than 0 0.05 quite good the effects are significant moreover we should also see the confidence intervals bias corrected zero should not be present negative to negative zero is not present negative to negative zero is not present negative to negative zero is not present it means that the moderation of horsepower at mean is significant plus one standard deviation is significant and minus one standard deviation is significant now how to interpret these results let's see the moderator is varied from one standard deviation to that is plus one standard deviation to minus one standard deviation from mean this is done to ensure that when we vary moderator from mean its effect is there or not so in case of zhp there is no moderation effect we are considering zhp at mean there is no moderation effect therefore effect is minus uh, 0.678 here it is minus 0 0.6708 it is rounded off to the three digit we can see the p value at plus one standard deviation and minus one standard deviation see this both are less than 0 0.05 we can say that the moderation effect is present in the entire zone now when zhp is zero the z weight is minus 0 0.671 the effect of z weight is minus 0 0.671 when we take plus one standard deviation uh, when we take plus one standard deviation and when we take minus one standard deviation what will happen let's see so when zhp is minus one z weight weight is minus 0.347 minus 0.671 now you will be wondering that from where i am getting this figure minus 0.3471 not to worry let us go back click here and you can see this figure minus 0.347 this figure has been considered okay let's come back so minus 0.3471 minus 0 0.671 is minus 0 0.976 see this figure now at plus one z weight plus one z weight is equal to minus 0 0.371 plus 0 0.671 is minus 0 0.366 quite good same figure now we will have to carry out the simple slope analysis how we can do very simple again we will go in smart pls we'll click here calculate path analysis start the calculation press open the report simple slope analysis we'll get three lines the blue line is at the mean of uh, the moderation variable that is a horsepower the green line is at plus one standard deviation and the red line is at minus one standard deviation now we can see that when it is minus one standard deviation when we decrease the horsepower the relationship between weight and mileage becomes more and more steeper when we decrease the horsepower okay and when we increase the horsepower this relationship is depicted in green line make sure that these three lines are not parallel if these three lines are parallel it means that the effect moderation effect is not significant now how to interpret this so when we increase the weight mpg decreases moreover this effect is also present if we give uh, if we take the horsepower at plus one standard deviation or minus one standard deviation the effect is still present so this has to be tested now for more videos on smart pls4 you can subscribe to my channel you can refer my playlist in which i have already uploaded many videos of smart pls don't forget to press the like button you can also follow me on linkedin and twitter